name is uh, Ko Chin Yi and I am currently the Head of Healthcare Redesign at Alexandra Hospital. Hi, I'm Candy Austria Kiambao and I'm a Medical Technologist or Clinical Laboratory Scientist. Medical Technologies does analyze blood, other body fluids and tissue specimens. We help deliver results, give it to clinicians for a better diagnosis or treatment for patients few uh, successful pilots that we've done here. One of the more notable ones is implementing use Google Glass in our urgent care centre, basically helping our nurses uh, with the nursing manpower shortage during the COVID times. And we've since expanded the use of this uh, Google Glass to hospital at home, inpatient roundings, home visits, uh, and so on and so forth. The other ones that we recently completed is the smart wards and also the smart beds. Implementation of the smart beds has allowed our nurses to improve their operational efficiency. That's because smart beds are able to send information about the patients, whether the patient is in the bed, whether the, the bed is locked, and even uh, notifying the nurses when the patients fall off the bed. When I was a kid, I wanted to become a doctor. And back then in my country, Medtech is uh, believed that it's a best pre-course for medicine. So I believe that my calling actually for this profession is a privilege. And aside from that, uh, the bigger part is that uh, I'm playing a vital role in uh, diagnostic stage. Um, I do find myself more inclined to learning and understanding how technology works and how everything ties into together. So the last place I practiced at was in Boston, which was what really kind of kickstart my interest in technology and innovation. How I evolved into this role was because I truly wanted to kind of change the way we care for patients with technology implementations. Um, I do feel that you can change things at a more systemic level. I think it's important to have women in science and technology. Women bring a different perspective uh, when it comes to technology and innovation. They bring the female perspective into how things are developed so that uh, there is no gender bias in what's being developed. It's important for female perspectives to be represented in these advancements. I would say that I am beyond grateful and blessed with what I have and I wish to inspire other people, encourage them, especially the younger generation, my passion for what is the importance of medical technology. I would encourage young women to follow their passions and follow their dreams uh, and not to be uh, bothered by biasness in the society and to be able to find or identify a mentor that's able to kind of coach them through and uh, mentor them through the process and being successful in this industry. Thank <laughs> you.